lights are uh, green, away they go, snaking a bit is Rob Gibson. And an almighty bang as Martin Schenker change gear. He's already up into second place behind Rasmus Hagen. Is he going to make it into the lead before they get to the elbow? I'm sure he's going to try and rock it past. Now it's Rasmus Hagen, Schenker, Silver Neunen and Rob Gibson come through into third place. Now Schenker's really got his work to do. I think that he can beat Rasmus Hagen. In the second runs, he was four seconds faster than anybody else. So I think he'll have a bit in hand. He's got to pick his place, work his manoeuvre out. But Rasmus Hagen is actually drawing away from him. This is extraordinary. But Schenker will give it the grand attack. That is for sure. Here he comes. Rasmus Hagen, Schenker. And don't forget that there is a twin Many turbo engine. Shankar, he's got the boost wound up. Now he's in a good position here to make a slingshot. Here he goes. Rasmus Hagen and Shankar's having a run at him now. No, he can't do it. He's got to hold back. Puts it up on the curb. Now he's got to get Devil's Elbow right and work out. I think his best position is the Devil's Elbow, but he's got to get into a good position to do it. He's too far back now to make a run at the hairpin. And don't forget, it's a twin-turbo engine at the back of that Metro 6R4 Martin there, just riding the curbs. Rob Gibson isn't too far away from, uh, from them either. And uh, certainly Rasmus Hagen going away from Martin as they went down the hill. All the cars sliding very close to Mavs Bank. Yes, Ma Martin is not driving well on the tarmac. Rasmus Hagen is driving much neater, but Shanker has a big attack here at Chesson's Drift. And again, I don't think he's quite close enough. No, it's but he is closer now, coming into Devil's Over. He's got a chance now. He's actually close. If he drives a good clean line round here, he might have a chance up the hill. He's got the power on early. He might just have a chance. All this horsepower up the hill, about 1,200 horsepower between them. Maybe more. Depends how much boost they've got on. Shanker's right there, down the hill. He's the... He'll give it death. It's certainly a battle of power here, and both these cars have got more than enough power. That's why they are so evenly matched. Martin is much, much closer. Will he get a slingshot out of the chicane down on the inside of the no, metro? he wants a good line. He wants a good approach into here. And he might just get it. No, he's lost. Two sideways, two sideways. Now he's got to concentrate and get in a position at Devil's Elbow. But Rasmus Hagen, you see... And Rob Gibson! Rob Gibson! I think Shank has blown it. He's blown up. He has. I'm sure he's blown up. It's Rasmus Hagen and Rob Gibson. And Shank has pulled off. I think that is a good night engine. It couldn't stand the pressure of Martin was giving it. No, it's still going, so I don't know what's happened. Anyway, it's Rasmus Hagen still leading from Rob Gibson now. And Gibson is closing as they go down the hill. I, having watched uh, Rasmus Hagen and Schenker fighting it out, I don't think that Gibson will get past him, but you never know. Stranger things have happened, but the chequered flag is out and waiting. There is Rob Gibson. He'll finish second if he stays in this position in the Division 2B final, but Martin will be finishing a lot lower than that. Chequered flag it is. Victory goes to Rasmus Hagen in the Metro 6R4. It's Metro second as well to Rob Gibson. Then Silver Neunen in a Another Metro's, Metro's one, two and three.